Only a small percentage of women experience PMDD. But did you know that PMDD has a disproportionate impact on autistic women? Let's go. Welcome and thank you so much for watching. I'm Orion Kelly, that autistic guy. I'm all about providing validation and support for autistic people and their loved ones. PMDD and autism. Before we get started, let's address the elephant in the room. What the hell's wrong with you? That's a picture of me at Christmas. Okay, I like Christmas food. What are you? The camera adds 10 pounds, okay? What's your excuse? No, fair enough, you actually are quite nice looking. I apologize. I'm not a doctor or a healthcare practitioner. I'm not providing you with medical or diagnostic advice. If the video resonates with you, see a healthcare practitioner for professional advice and guidance. Goes without saying though, my name is Orion Kelly, that autistic guy. Okay, second thing. Yeah, it turns out I'm a man. I don't get periods. But PMDD is by far in the top three of the most requested topics by my amazing YouTube community. That's why I'm doing it. It's for you guys. You asked me to do it. I'm doing it. So start at the start before PMDD. You may be someone who experiences a period, a menstrual cycle. And going through that, you may experience the symptoms of PMS, which is short for premenstrual syndrome. PMS is a common condition and it's experienced by around about 75% of women in the days leading up to their period. But for some women, these symptoms can be much more severe and debilitating. And this is a condition known as PMDD or premenstrual dysphoric disorder. So what is PMDD? In basic general terms, PMDD is a severe form of PMS and it causes emotional and psychological distress. There is no question PMDD will seriously impact your daily quality of life. Those women who experience PMDD can find normal activities like schooling, work, exercising, or self-care really difficult. PMDD can also sometimes trigger thoughts of suicide or self-harm. So PMDD is related to the menstrual cycle, but PMDD isn't believed to be caused by a hormonal imbalance. It's actually believed that PMDD may be triggered by the hormonal changes in the part of the menstrual cycle between ovulation and menstruation. So it's thought that after ovulation, follicle stimulating hormone and luteinizing hormone drop. So this experience usually occurs two weeks before your period. And if you're progesterone sensitive, your symptoms may last even longer. Meaning, and I think this is actually really big. This means that some women and statistically, many autistic women will only have three to seven days a month where they're symptom free. Three to seven days a month, symptom free. That's a bloody horrible life. Let's expand our chat on the causation of PMDD, or as I like to say in the uni, unpack it. So studies show that women experiencing PMDD are very sensitive to the hormonal changes. Now for some it's been suggested this could be due to a serotonin deficiency. And in basic terms, serotonin is a brain hormone that controls your mood, makes you feel happy. Another cause, genetics. Here we go again. So any woman can experience PMDD, but it is more likely genetic. Another risk factor could be a personal or family history of mood disorders. But how about this cause? It has been suggested that up to 83% of women who experience PMDD had experienced trauma early in life. 83% of women with PMDD experienced trauma early in their life. Wow. Did you know that PMDD has actually been recognized since 2013 as a psychological disorder in the DSM-5? What is the connection between PMDD and autism? Well, simply put, research suggests that PMDD is more common in autistic women. It's thought that only 3% of non-autistic women experience PMDD, but it's suggested that at least 21% and up to 
92% of autistic women experience PMDD, 92%. And for those autistic women who also have ADHD, or maybe you have ADHD, but you're not autistic, did you know that 46% of those women with ADHD experience PMDD? So not 3%, 46%. Up to 92% for autistic women, and 46% for women with ADHD. This is a significant, disproportionate amount of neurodivergent women experiencing PMDD. I'm not sure if this is interesting, fascinating, or just plain weird, but some research actually suggested that only 11% of non-autistic women who had some form of learning difficulties experienced PMDD, but up to 92% of autistic women with learning difficulties experienced PMDD. In other words, not autistic, about 3%. Non-autistic with learning difficulties, about 11. Autistic women, up to 92%. It's also been suggested that if hormonal swings are linked in an increase in autistic women experiencing PMDD, the menopausal symptoms should or could also be more severe. And finally, there are some reports that suggest autistic traits, so things like sensory sensitivities, dysregulation, all the things autistic people try to suppress are in fact exacerbated during menstruation and menopause. Let's talk about some signs and symptoms of PMDD. And I wanna share with you the personal experiences of an autistic woman, part of this amazing community that actually experiences PMDD. Now, as we go through some of these signs and symptoms, you may think they actually sound like signs of other conditions. In fact, the symptoms of PMDD can actually mimic other conditions. I'm bringing this up because once again, I'm not a doctor or a healthcare practitioner. If these resonate, make sure you seek the advice of a healthcare professional. But I'm also bringing this up because how many times have we talked about autistic women and misdiagnosis. What I'm saying is some autistic women who are experiencing PMDD see a healthcare practitioner and are misdiagnosed with conditions like borderline personality disorder, bipolar disorder, depression, even thyroid conditions. Now these might be correct in some cases, but it's important you seek the advice of a healthcare practitioner. So some of the symptoms of PMDD can include extreme or sudden mood changes and an emotional sensitivity. Another symptom, irritability or anger. PMDD can also manifest with a depressed mood. In other words, feeling hopeless, worthless, even guilty. Another sign is anxiety, tension, feeling on edge. Those with PMDD can also experience a real loss of interest in usual activities. This can be anything from work, school, friendships, interests, to more specifically, special interests, passions. Brain fog is another example of PMDD, meaning a difficulty in concentrating or focusing. PMDD can also manifest in tiredness, low energy, even excessive sleepiness. Appetite changes, another symptom. And more specifically, this could be food cravings, overeating, even binge eating. Insomnia, another symptom of PMDD. So this trouble of staying asleep, of getting to sleep. You may simply feel overwhelmed or out of control. That can be another experience of PMDD. And some of the physical symptoms, if you're wondering, as an autistic woman who may experience PMDD, breast tenderness or swelling, joint or muscle pain, bloating or weight gain, acne, even headaches, again, all potential symptoms of an autistic woman experiencing PMDD. Now, an amazing autistic member of our YouTube community, Danielle, reached out as someone who experiences PMDD. And I love to share with you just a few of her personal experiences as an autistic woman with PMDD. So Danielle told me there's so much misconception that it's just normal periods. But feeling suicidal in pain and intensely struggling is not normal. People have come out about this condition, met with honestly disgusting messages 
because they think it's just simple PMS. It's not. It's the most horrific thing to go through. I've had signs since I was 12. I got diagnosed when I was 17. I'm now 20 and I'm going through trial treatments because there's no real treatment. Danielle also told me, doctors dismiss you your whole life saying it's just growth hormones. Just like how they ignored my autistic signs at an early age as being hyperlexic and that I was a genius or something. And that's why I acted up. A lot of people who have PMDD will have been seen as a masking child. But as soon as PMDD hits, they become the opposite of that mask because they can't keep it up due to how exhausting this condition is. That's certainly what happened in my case. Thank you so much, Danielle, for reaching out in this amazing community and sharing with us your own personal lived experiences as an autistic woman with PMDD. For more on other conditions experienced by autistic people, you should check out my freshly curated playlist, Co-occurring Conditions.